Doug NPA back with another one. I covered this Paige Turner woman right here once before on my channel. I was going through her TikTok, and her take on Mother's Day versus Father's Day is one of the craziest things you're ever going to hear, guys. We all know that mothers are revered on Mother's Day. The world has to stop. Men have to jump through hoops and run through burning buildings to make sure that all the mothers in their lives are revered and respected and feel special on Mother's Day. That's why Mother's Day is the busiest restaurant day of the year. And what about Father's Day? No one cares about Father's Day. No one cares. Fathers get a tie and a pair of socks on Father's Day and still have to mow the lawn and still have to take out the trash. And not only that, fathers have to share Father's Day with single mothers. Who do mothers have to share Mother's Day with? Nobody. So we're going to get into this TikTok here. Before I do that, like the video, subscribe to the channel, drop a comment. I really appreciate it. It shows you support me and what I'm doing over here. And let's get into this woman's take. Has anyone else noticed that we celebrate Mother's Day and Father's Day very differently from one another? On Mother's Day, we typically ask moms to spend the day having fun with their family. They are expected to do some fun activity with their kids, whether it's going to the zoo or the beach or maybe just for a nice family walk. They're expected to maybe even host a brunch where they don't just celebrate themselves, but they celebrate their mother-in-law. And oftentimes, they're the ones tasked with planning all of these things. They're part I don't know what she's talking about. I've never heard this. But Mother's Day, my mom didn't have to lift a finger on Mother's Day. And I'm pretty sure most of yours didn't either. I don't know what she's talking about. This is all a blatant lie. If men don't have something planned for Mother's Day or kids don't have something planned for Mother's Day, all hell's going to break loose. Tell me I'm lying, guys. Tell me I'm lying. Their partner will say, what do you want to do for Mother's Day? And she says, well, I don't know. And he says, well, just tell me and I can do it. If you just let me know, I'll do it. It's because... If the guy plans something and the woman doesn't want to do it on Mother's Day, he's going to catch hell. Women don't understand. A guy will take initiative until you berate him enough that he doesn't want to do it anymore. We don't have grateful women in society anymore. These are women who will, who will browbeat you, complain when you, try to do, when you try to take any kind of initiative. And these are average guys. When the average guy tries to take initiative in his marriage, and it's against what the wife wants, she's going to give him hell. So he doesn't want to do it. He'll ask her and be safe. What do you want to do on Mother's Day? Because he, he doesn't want to hear her mouth. And so not only is she expected to be with her family and celebrate other mothers that are not just herself, she's expected to help plan it and execute it, right? And come up with the idea for Mother's Day. But on Father's Day, what I've noticed is most men are golfing. They are golfing. They are not with their family. They're not celebrating their dad they're not celebrating their father guys is that true have you ever gone golfing on father's day yeah i didn't think so father's day is just a regular day you you may get your favorite breakfast you may get a bathrobe you may get a book but that's it fathers are not celebrated in this society at all and father's day is easily dismissed like I said at the beginning of the video, single mothers are celebrated more on Father's Day than fathers. They're celebrating themselves. They're taking a well-earned day to relax and have fun with their buddies. They are taking a day for themselves. They are celebrating being a father by being away from their families. But women are expected to celebrate being mothers with their families because women are told that the only thing we should care about in the whole world is our families and our children. That's not true. We're in the age of... I'm strong, independent, I don't need no man. I can be independent in a relationship with a man. This is all lies. I told you, this is one of the craziest takes on Mother's Day and Father's Day I've ever heard. Even her comments are telling her she's wrong. And that if we want time to ourselves, then we're selfish. But interestingly enough, when you ask women, what's the number one thing you want? What do you wish you had more of? They say alone time. I wish I had some alone time. I wish I had time to breathe. I wish I had time to be a human being outside of being a wife and a mother. I wish I had space. And oftentimes that is what they're looking for on Mother's Day. Let's give them what we give dads. All cap. Mothers want an expensive meal. They want jewelry. They might even want a new car. They want something tangible and expensive. That's what they want. And what do dads get? Nothing. Let me know what you think about this in the comments. Like the video, drop a comment, subscribe to the channel, and I'll catch you on the next one.